you still here? Okay, there are two questions here from Veronica. Okay, one question from Veronica. She said, how can I know that I'm ready for marriage? That's a very important question. Very, very important question. Um, we're talking about being ready for marriage. Uh, it is a compound of things put together, right? You have to look at your spiritual life and then you have to look at your um, physical life as well. In, the, in what sense uh, and do I mean physical life? Number one, you must be spiritually matured. Amen. You have to actively prepare yourself for marriage. Uh, as as uh, in whatever vocation we engage ourselves in, whether you're a nurse, you're a teacher, you always spend an amount of years studying at university. Uh, you, you invest, whether it's five years, six years, uh, two months for a certificate or one year for a postgraduate certificate or two for a diploma, whatever, you spend time to invest in order to develop yourself, to grow yourself, to mature. And the same thing for marriage. It is not possible that uh, you just wake up one day and say, I want to get married. And then the next day you find somebody and then the following day you get married. <laughs> That is immaturity. The, going about doing such a thing that demonstrates a lot of immaturity. And so you have to invest time to plan, to prepare yourself for a relationship, to prepare yourself for marriage. And as I said too before, uh, it is important to, uh, to enlist the help of uh, uh, spiritual leadership. And if your parents are, good, uh, are, are on good terms with you, or they are born again like you, then that gives you an even extra bonus to learn from them. Uh, a wise uh, woman here told me once that uh, young people should not have to follow the same mistakes that their, uh, their elders have, had, uh, had encountered, had done. We have our elders to learn from. So invest time to learn from your, your spiritual leadership whether it's from the ladies fellowship or pastor from church uh, and, uh, and, and parents. And uh, take time also to, to learn a lot about yourself, to learn what are the things that I need to change before I enter marriage, you know? And you see, when you enlist the help of others, they're able also to, to point out things in your life that you can't see, because we are usually blind to our own mistakes, our own faults, our own failures. But they can, if they are honest people and they are interested in your success, then they are going to tell you, uh, you have the anger problem or you have this, you need to work on that. Yeah, and, uh, and then you, you, you spend time as well to pray and ask the Lord to give you a lot of wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Because marriage is not a walk in the park as we said, marriage is a lot of work. And much of that work uh, try by your best not to begin it when you're in marriage. Because uh, if you're waiting to get married before you begin to implement some of the important uh, uh, things that you need to change in your life or some important lesson that you need to learn before, if you fail to prepare before marriage, then uh, I say, no, you're not ready. Your marriage will be, you will have trouble like the rest of us, but now yours will be, it will be more. <laughs> yeah, so uh, invest time, whether it's a year, two years, three years, to pray and seek help. That process now will determine uh, your, your readiness. Yeah. Uh, of course, uh, it will not be feasible for a 14-year-old uh, girl or boy to, to, to go into holy matrimony. Of course, uh, when you're an adult, uh, 18 years old and above. That is, of course, um, uh, the legal age uh, all over the world uh, to, to begin to seek uh, marriage. But when, so as soon as you hit that age, make sure that you uh, 
uh, you begin to prepare. Uh, so it's not one figure that to say, once you reach 20, you're ready to marry, or once you're 30, you're ready to marry. Uh, but uh, it's, it's more of your spiritual readiness and also how you handle yourself, how you handle your money too. Yeah? If you're waiting for your husband later on to show you or your, or your wife later to begin to teach you how to handle money, it's not a good thing. Begin now to learn how to handle money, to learn how to communicate well. So these are uh, uh, things that will now determine how ready you are, your willingness to change and uh, prepare yourself for marriage. Does it, Bishop Banda, do you want to answer that question also? To share two cents, how can one know that they are ready for marriage? Your mic is mute. Oh, Overseer, Amalia, would you like to, to answer that question? Uh, hallelujah. Amen. I, hallelujah. Amen. Uh, Did you ask me? Blessed Bishop. Yes, I was saying. We can hear you. Would you like to, 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 to comment? Y yes, just one comment, uh, if I'm allowed. Uh, one way you can know uh, that you are ready, when you know uh, that, this is just my opinion, that if you don't do it, you fall into sin. I mean, if, if you know you're not, you know, there are people like Paul who were, you know, who could stay without a woman. But there are some people they know, you know, you realize I, if I stay alone, I'll be forced into sin or something. So. Uh, if that's one situation, I think you should start uh, seeking, you know, help from, uh, maybe it could be the right time for you to get married. When you know, um, yeah, if I, if I continue like this, I'll, I'll fall into the sin. That's just my humble contribution. I like to say, the moment you realize that, uh, God has not given you the gift that he gave Paul to remain single for the rest of his life. And that's the time to begin to prepare for marriage. <laughs> Amen. Uh, so the moment you realize that uh, I want to get married, then that's the moment to begin preparing and uh, seeking help. Uh, Blessed Senior Archbishop, do you want to, to weigh in on this? Uh, praise the Lord. I want to believe that um, uh, getting to know that you are ready for marriage is a very huge uh, topic that uh, we are going to research more so that when we come to the seminar for the singles, we can have a presentation on the point because there could be more that we might not be able to say today. And that is the, the whole reason why people's marriages are not Christ-centered. So we, we ask for Veronica and the, all the singles and all the participants today to really tune in on that day. So the bishop will do a lot of research on that so that we can give you a comprehensive education. And we today do not have the, all the people that could participate uh, because today it was for the married couples. How about that? Because there's really so much that we can share. Uh, there's so much we have to talk about in terms of the relationship with the church, relationship with the pastors, relationship with your family. And we have to talk about the agreements and show scriptures how people got into marriage. And then we can also share examples of those who went into marriage without proper preparation, what happened, and so on and so forth. So if we can uh, be allowed to go and research more so we can uh, really give a befitting presentation on the topic. I value this topic so much because all our young people depend on it. How about that? Mm -hmm. Very true, it's a big topic, uh, very huge topic. Dr. James, would you like to weigh in before we... Uh... 
Yeah, I, I think I think as you say, as you just said it, um, this is a, a complex question that uh, having an exact answer is almost close to impossible. And as uh, it has been uh, alluded from uh, yourself, blessed uh, Bishop and uh, Bishop uh, Banda, as well as uh, the senior Archbishop put it clearly, you know, there is, everyone will have so many, you know, different responses on this. And, uh, it requires a lot of, you know, research experiences here and there. But uh, maybe what I just can I can add on this also is that different, you know, all marriages organized by different governments. And each government also they have got their own restrictions on when should somebody get married. So, on top of what you have just added, you also add the, you know, what is the government restrictions. I, I know most governments, they allow marriages from 18 years old and above. Um, um, most of them, they, they want, you, you only get married if they recognize you as an adult. So, you, you know, there are so many things that, I mean, surrounds, you know, marriage. You get somebody who is 18 years old, very mature, very, very ready. You find somebody who is 40 years old, 50, not mature, not ready, is a kid, is a, is a child at that age. So it, it all depends on so many parameters. So as uh, the Blessed Admission has just said, let the young, the young uh, those who are not married in this platform to, you know, they tune in in the, in the, next, in the next cycle of this training. We research, we read, we pray over it. So that when we come back, we come back with really a comprehensive research and uh, with experience on this on this issue. Thank you. Amen. Mm -hmm. I think uh, mm -hmm. she, she was answered. Uh, anybody else with a question on matters relationship? Anything from what we have discussed? Uh, other things, please don't be quiet. You are allowed to ask, please. Sister Hannah, you want to ask? Please just unmute yourself and then uh, let us hear your voice. Praise the Lord, Bishop mm -hmm. Julius Quedi and Mama Archbishop. Okay. In the rest of the group. Yes, please. Yeah. I just wanted to add that in the next session, you know, we also discuss about raising children in the Christ like uh -huh. parenting. Yeah. Yes, parenting. Christian parenting. Uh huh. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. You are most welcome. We will take note of that. I mean, but um, now in um, in the chat box, a link that you can follow. It will take you to a Telegram group, and there, please submit your uh, what's that details for. Now, for those that are married and they would like to join our WhatsApp group, and, uh, submit your details there, your phone number, and no, please don't do that. I'll, I'll create another platform to do that. I'll create another platform. Okay, anybody else who has a question? Anybody else with a question? Okay, um, in the absence of anyone having a question, let me ask. I can see that we had uh, close to 40 participants today. Mm -hmm. So my question is, how useful do you think this seminar was for you? Good one. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. For me, it was very, very, very useful. 
very useful. I thank God for that. Mm-hmm. And um, one of the things I I got was what Mama Bishop said: mm-hmm. "In the marriage, always be wrong." Mm-hmm. Amen. Thank you. A powerful piece of advice from England, indeed. Yes, please. Anybody else want to share what they have learned? Or has this been helpful for you? We have time. Don't be shy. Please. eh? Kabila and Shangalas. Blessed elders, praise the Lord. I'm sorry for asking this question on a topic that was not discussed here today. You're welcome to to ask questions from other topics. So I read about factors that may influence this decision to have children in the ministry's manual. The point was agreed, agreed method of contraception. Would like to hear more clarity on this, please. Uh, are you asking about the method of contraception that is uh, that is agreed upon in the ministry? Please want to hear your voice. Eh? Just ask your question clearly. Brother Shangala, you may speak. Uh, blessed, blessed Bishop, uh, is responding something down there? I think he's responding to your question. Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> blessed Senior Archbishop, we want to hear your two cents. Um, are we now on the question of how valuable the seminar was, or are we going to family? Uh, that's the question that came up on family. Uh, nobody else wants to <laughs> to open up about how valuable the seminar was, unless we wait for somebody to find. Okay. It. Uh, Senior Bishop Wong, please we want to hear your voice. <laughs> Just unmute yourself and then uh, let us let us hear your voice. Okay, he's saying that um, this webinar indeed has been helpful to to highlight the inevitable necessity of Jesus at the center of marriage and how to be more revived in prayers, which is key for a marriage centered in Christ. Very powerful, says Mm. Bishop Wong. Amen. Anybody else who wants to add to that, to to tell us your personal experience? Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, Greetings to the congregation here. Hallelujah. I just want to bless the Lord for the meeting of today. Amen. It was very, very, very powerful, and I've learned so much. Mm-hmm. I have learned a lot. I've really, really, really learned a lot. And I believe that uh, as I will begin to implement which I have learned, so the Lord will help my marriage, Amen. revive mm-hmm. my marriage. And uh, the glory of God will be seen in my marriage. Amen. So there's been really a lot, a lot that I've learned, especially just to mention uh, a few, uh, like the topic that was discussed by the blessed Dr. Jacob. Mm -hmm. They are very, very powerful. Some of us, we needed information on that. We needed more education on that. And uh, I've really found this program very, very, very much helpful. And uh, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward also for the singles one, because uh, there is really a lot that we have to learn still. Even though you are married, there is a lot to learn. It's a journey of learning. It's a journey of discovery. 
Mm-hmm. So we trust that by God's grace, we'll invite more people even next time for the singles that we may have uh, holy marriages in this nation that will bring revival. Hallelujah. Amen. That is all my contribution and just my appreciation unto the Lord for his servants that have given us the teachings of today. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much uh, from uh, Omaruru, Pastor Lucas. Uh, anybody else? I see Meke Nambala. She says it was really helpful, especially to us unmarried, the unmarried on the topic of handling money, even in our youth. This will help us so much in the way. Furthermore, we can wait for a day to come. Hallelujah. Indeed, the issue of money is a very, very important one. Anybody else? Please uh, feel free to speak. <laughs> feel free to speak. Um, but for us not to leave out uh, the, um, the couple that is asking about family planning, let us just also say, um, you said you read in the manual. Not everybody has read the manual. So let us all go and do research so that when we talk to the singles, we can also talk about if any family planning is allowed and what it is and what is not. So that one is a, a very critical uh, topic to discuss. The medical doctors will have to research and tell us uh, if there is anything the Christians are allowed to use to be able to kill some of the babies so that the world is not too full, uh, the doctors will tell us. As for me, I, I have no answer, no straight answer for you now. I'm also going to research and uh, no, you know, we are told to apologize, to say, I'm sorry, I do not know, I will come back to you. So please allow us to come back to you on that topic. We are humble enough to recognize the fact that we do not know. It's, it will be pride for me to answer you on that one without doing research, especially uh, hearing from the office of the mightiest prophets of the Lord, who are the, uh, the leaders in this ministry. Thank you. Amen. Anybody else who wants to say how blessed they were or they are by the session? What did you learn? What would you like to learn more? Please, eh? we have no Shall I begin to name people here now? I don't want to name anybody. <laughs> there are is there. Sister Loise, Brother Jacob. Uh, Overseer Jacob. Uh, just unmute your mic. And also Weyulu. The Weyulu there, yes. Weyulu also from Ralph is the last to see some <laughs> Stella Kwamboka, Ulefon, Esther Blessing, Adelaide Mekesa. We want to hear from you, Livingstone, Sakeos Feresiano, Margaret Twa, Twa Moore, <laughs> Pastor Alex, Pastor Catherine and Deritu from, from Ireland. Who else is there? We want to hear from you, blessed people. Jeremiah Oweke, Gray Faith, Samsung, Enana, Emily Shanika, Monica Christoph. We want to hear from you, please. I think Ralph is based already. Ralph is based. I thank the Lord so much. So there's a lot that I've been learning, like uh, that verbal communication. There's a time you can someone speaking to me, but I'm just quiet. I'm not responding. I'm not saying anything. But there will be a point. There will be a time you need to say I'm sorry or you need to say something. Now I learned that the, it's not always that the person is speaking to you, but you are just quiet or you are not saying anything, or you are just commenting like, okay, it's fine, I heard you. 
So there's a point you need to apologize, say, or you say, I'm sorry, or say anything. Mm. Now I learned something. Mm. And on the point of the money, and on the other, on the other topic that the overseer Maria teach. So uh, now I learned that it's not always that you need just to give something without asking. So I have that habit of just giving, just singing and giving without asking anyone. So now I learned even if I enter into marriage now, I know I have to ask first before I give. Amen. Amen. Wonderful. I see here. Praise the senior bishops and overseers, pastors. First of all, I just want to thank God for this opportunity that God has given us. It's really blessing. For me, just I'm not. Me, I get a lot. I just want to get more. I just feel healthy as a youth. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're saying you want to learn more as a youth. Amen. That's very powerful. Indeed. There is more to learn. Uh, the time we have today is not enough. Uh-huh, but Sir Jacob is saying the meeting was helpful. I learned that any marriage must be Christ-centered. The issue of finance and conflict resolution, I look forward to our day, the day of, of singles. Amen. Uh, Sister Esther Blessing says, praise the Lord, most blessed and treasured servants of the Lord. I just want to bless the Lord very much for allowing me to be part of this meeting. Honestly, I have been blessed so much and I have learned so much that uh, it will help me build my spiritual life and marital life as well. Thank you so much. Uh, Sister Catherine says, the session has been very insightful. Thank you for providing guidance on having a godly marriage centered on Christ Jesus. You're most welcome. And uh, okay, Any, anybody wants to have the last say? Anybody with the last comment? Before we wrap up? Just the last one. Okay, Livingstone, that is uh, Pastor Patricia. Yes, please. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Amen. We can hear you. I want to bless the Lord. Amen. I want to bless the name of the Lord Amen. for today's meeting. It was really, really, really helpful. Yes. And before I weigh in what I have learned and what I should take home today. I want to recognize the presence of our elders, the Blessed Archbishop, um, the bishops, the overseers, the pastors, and all the participants. Um, I would love to weigh in what I have learned today and how helpful this message or this meeting was today. I want to begin off with um, the conflict resolution. Mm. On the topic of conflict resolution, um, what I have learned, I learned not to be uh, selfish. So uh, sometimes not only you should not only want um, things to happen your way, but you can adjust it. You can either meet halfway. Mm. Okay, let us join together into this. Or maybe I can, I will, let me come back to you later on. Or maybe you join in on, on, on the resolution that was made. So for me, that was really, really helpful. And also, 
on the topic that was that was presented on Christ-centered marriage. Um, my take-home message is that our marriages ought to be on fire and we should not grow cold in any way. So year by year or day by day, we should grow and we should be on fire. So it was also a serious rebuke about prayer. Should spend more time in prayer and at least, it's a reminder really that at least a type of prayer that Jesus um, asked for is at least in one hour's prayer. But now in this life of apparently I'm busy, I'm too tired, I've been busy up and down. So to me, it was really a serious rebuke and also helpful that at least spend an hour in prayer. And on the part of love and respect, what I've learned um, uh, is that to love and to respect should be done unto the Lord. Whether your spouse love shows acting ways that are loving, as a woman, you should uh, uh, submit or respect being done unto the Lord and not to your spouse. And if your spouse is acting in, in ways that are not so respectful, you should love her. The love that you are loving her should be done unto the Lord. You are loving her because it's a commandment from the Lord and it's not because she is respectful towards you. And yes, in short, that is what I have learned. Thank you. Amen. Thank you so much for sharing. There is indeed a lot to digest from today. Uh, okay. In, in wrapping up, so thank you so much for uh, for sharing your comments, for sharing how you are blessed by this. And uh, we hope to uh, that you'll be blessed in the subsequent meetings coming up. Uh, Hopefully, on a monthly basis, we can have um, fellowship on Zoom, uh, especially for the married people. Amen. And uh, we have a marriage group on WhatsApp, group on ma uh, for married people only, Christ-centered marriage. Uh, so if you are interested in joining our Christ-centered marriage group for the married, Please send me an S, uh, SMS on WhatsApp on the number I've just shared in the text, in the chat box. Uh, it, it only works on WhatsApp, please. Eh? WhatsApp only. You send me uh, your name and phone number, or you just send me your name and then I'll and let me know that you want me to add you to the Christ-centered marriage group. Amen. Uh, for the singles, uh, should we create a group for you? Is that a good idea? <laughs> oh, Blessed Archbishop, what do you say? I think there must be a group for the singles as well, because uh, there are certain things as a single person you would like to share with those people who share like who they like-minded people. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, these are very emotional things for some people and uh, yeah, so just a WhatsApp group for the singles, so they can be free. They must be uh, uh, allowed to be free to ask questions and to contribute and so on and so forth. So if you can do that, please. Amen. Yes, indeed. So we'll do so. Uh, just send me your, your name and tell me that you want to be added to the singles group, to the WhatsApp, to the WhatsApp number that I've shared in the, in the, in the chat box. Amen. Uh, and uh, I would like to encourage you that uh, whereas we have done well to join the meeting today, now, it must not end here. We need to continue to invest in our marriages. Hallelujah. 
not only when we meet like this, but to invest in our marriages, uh, even when we are alone. Yeah, let us listen to marriage uh, teachings. Let us listen, read marriage books, good marriage books. Uh, on the on the on the on the WhatsApp groups, we'll share a link to Telegram where we have put audio books and and PDF books to read to prepare yourself for marriage. And if you are married, uh, how to grow in your marriage. And uh, if you're having children, also in that area, how to bring up children uh, in a godly way. So please invest for the, for the merit. It's your marriage. Don't wait for bishop or archbishop or pastor who to come and tell you to do this, invest this. You must, be, you must own your marriage and uh, you should uh, do a lot to invest in it that you may grow. Amen. Uh, see, Sister Mac Johanna Makali, you wanted to say something? Or oh, Pastor Patricia, you have raised your hand again. Okay. Uh, Stella Kamboka, please send, send me a WhatsApp um, uh, SMS. Please send me SMS on that number. Plus seven nine six five three five three five five zero three. Send me a message there on WhatsApp, and then I will, and let me know which one you want to be added to, the singles group or the what uh, or the married couples group. Amen. Okay. Any final thoughts from Archbishop, uh, Bishop Banda, Doctor James, Overseer Amalia, Mama Bishop. Any final thoughts? Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, once again, uh, I want to thank you very much, the host, Amen. Blessed Bishop, uh, Dr. Julius. Amen. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Archbishop, for staying with us up to this time. I know it's really a sacrifice. And may God bless you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Pastor Banda, for that wonderful presentation. Sure. I have learned a lot from your uh, discussion. Uh, Pastor Amelia, I'm glad to have had that powerful message from you. May God bless you so much. And uh, Mama Bishop, uh, thank you very much for giving us that wonderful presentation. And every one of us, who made time to come and attend this wonderful uh, web, web, webinar. It's really a, a sacrifice. I'm so happy to hear quite a number of you are coming from Kenya also. I'm so much blessed. Uh, um, I can see um, the brothers are here. So this is a good house. So even if you are in Kenya or wherever, you are not limited with distance. You are much welcome. And may God bless you so much. That's what I can say for now. Uh, blessed Bishop, I think this is a good initiative that you've started. May God enrich, enrich you so much and give you more wisdom to enable us move ahead and, and move forth to ensure that our marriages are godly and uh, they are sustained in a godly manner. May God bless you all. Amen. Thank you so much, Doctor. Uh... Bishop Banda, you want to say final thoughts? I also thank the Lord for what the Lord has done. I agree with uh, my brother, Dr. Jacob, Abbasia, that this is a very good initiative. I, for one, I have learned a lot. For example, the what our blessed senior Archbishop said, um, I have just seen my mistakes and also what the other, you know, presenters, you know, said, I've seen my mistakes. We are always learning, learning, learning. And I thank God for this opportunity that we can learn and prepare for the coming of the Messiah. That our marriages will be holy, that our marriages will be pleasing to the Lord. I just thank the Lord for this opportunity. Thank you so much. Amen. Hallelujah. Beautiful.
Over here, Amalia, you want to say something? Ah, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord so, so much. Uh, I'm so humbled and uh, thank God so, so much for a very, very productive and effective meeting. I also thank God for the initiative and for all the contribution. I have really learned a lot and I'm humbled even to have an opportunity to tune in and uh, to learn quite a lot and uh, being rebuked, corrected and uh, taught really the right way of Christ who must be the center of our marriage. And indeed, he deserves all the praise and all the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hello, Bishop. Want to say something? Our Bishop, want to say something? Would you like to say something? Final thoughts? Okay, I hope you can hear. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Yes, yeah, so just like to thank all the speakers for coming to us to prepare a message and doing all their research and delivering. See, the marriage is not a destination, it's a journey, and we need to carry on learning. So this platform. And thank you to everyone who attended as well. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so very much. Bless the senior Archbishop. Final thoughts? Okay. Praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. Um, I, uh, all, I want to appreciate the, the entire team of all the presenters and um, everyone getting 100% of Thanksgiving. Uh, the initiator and the ones that uh, added their support to the initiative. Everybody, may the Lord bless you so much. May he give you continuous wisdom so that you can continue to build the body of Christ. And all the participants, and especially those ones who also participated one way or the other, I really wish you more wisdom because I know that from today, we are going to be thinking deeper on to what, how best can I be the best Christian God has created me and called me to be? What else can I do to add value to society? I'm sure that now we know that we are people of value in our small churches called marriage. And therefore we want to be as proud as Jesus is very proud to have us as his children. I want to bless each and every one of you, especially those of you who, has, who sat from eight, from nine in the morning. Some of you in your countries, the time is not our time. It's already deep into the night in your places. And some of you are now just wanting to sleep, but still you sacrificed your sleep, you sacrificed your time and your programs to attend to this seminar. It shows your love for God and your love for God's people. Because what you have learned, I'm sure that you are going to share with so many people again. In our next um, uh, seminar, the one that will be for singles, we are going to have a proper discussion and see how we can formulate the subjects, but we need the singles um, uh, suggestions. If there are topics that are of burning nature that you really want to deal with, please, you are given the number of bishop. He's the chairperson of our bishop's council. He's in charge of all our admin things. So please make sure that you talk to him so that he can add the topics that you would like us to cover in the single uh, seminar that is upcoming. And the quicker we have enough uh, uh, topics to cover, the quicker we are going to have the seminar. We don't have to do it next month only. It depends on the need because Jesus is coming and we need to, to prepare everyone. So thank you so much. The number is given. Make sure that you make your own contribution Help your neighbor, help your sister, help your brother, so that we can all be in one board. 
and that is now in the body of Christ. That very uh, narrow road is where we should be. Thank you so much, everyone. God bless you so much. I appreciate you, but remember, God appreciates you more. Your efforts are registered in heaven. You are on fire for the Lord. Otherwise, you couldn't be here for the whole day. God bless you, um, uh, my senior bishop, Dr. Julius, young as you are. You are so much on fire for the Lord. And you know, the effect is being felt. So let those who are following under you, the Amalias that are, are following, let them catch the fire and continue running with these uh, leaders in Namibia. Let the Patricias that are always saying something and always contributing to this and that, they look at them, they are looking upon you. You are now being the model for them as a young man of God, but you are still on fire in respective of how much busy you are at the hospital, dealing with the corona that was prophesied by our, our own, one and only our father. You are there and the Lord is protecting you and he's still giving you a lot of time. We love you and we acknowledge that you are very busy, but he's still doing much for the Lord. May he bless you. Thank you so much. And um, please uh, answer to the request if you want to be added to the groups so that you are not left out. God bless you all. Hallelujah. This, Amen. Let's pray for us and dismiss us. <laughs> Senior Archbishop, just pray for us. And uh, okay, um, let us bow our heads as we pray. Father, we thank you so much. Thank you, Father God, for your children that you have called, and they have heard your voice, and they are doing what you have called them to do. Thank you so much, Father God, for all the participants of today. Those who had to leave the meeting because of other assignments, bless them equally and bless their families. Father, we pray that divorce shall never be the word to be heard in this ministry and beyond. Though, and those who have participated, I ask Father God, those who are single, that you stretch forth your hand and point to their partners that they might also find each other and that they might be able to be as happy as everyone else. Bless each and every one, Father God, that wants to be on fire for the Lord with the Holy Spirit, with the baptism of the Holy Spirit and of fire, that we might be on fire for the Lord. Whether the devil likes it or not, we are victorious. None of us shall be a failure. Thank you, Father God, for the meeting. Thank you for the initiative. Thank you, Father God, for the wisdom that you have given to your people and for the patience to wait this long. Lord, bless each and every one. Thank you so much. And Father, we thank you for the Holy Spirit that kept us alive until this time that we may hear all these things that we did not know before. May your name be glorified in every home. May your name be glorified in, among the children and the couples. May you bless those who are still waiting for their children to come. And may you bless those ones who think they want a limited number of children, be the answer to them, Father God, even as you open the doors that no one can shut and as you shut the doors that no one opens. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. Blessed Senior Archbishop. Thank you, everybody. The Lord bless you. Amen. The blessed evening. Thank you for your patience and your enthusiasm to, to learn. Shalom. Amen. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, shalom, shalom. shalom. shalom.